Hansi Flick needs to make sure his team doesn't become dependent on the young superstar. The ankle injury to Lamine Yamal should be the only warning that Barcelona needs to avoid overusing their star winger. At the same time, we can't ignore that the only two games Barcelona lost this season in La Liga were the ones without the 17-year-old prodigy. For most managers, this would put them in a bind. For Hansi Flick, I expect prudence and respect for the player's promising career to win the day. But it's also in the self-interest of the coach himself, who needs to make sure his team doesn't become dependent on any one player. Lionel Messi was an iron man who was rarely sidelined throughout his Blaugrana tenure. Barca were lucky to profit so handsomely from their Messi dependencia. They can't and shouldn't expect the same of Yamal or any other young player coming through the academy for that matter. Ansu Fadi's story should be the cautionary tale going forward. Gavi was another scare that the club will hope doesn't repeat itself. Lamine just turned 17 years old, younger than even Messi was when he made his famous debut. He needs to be looked at as the boy he still is. He needs protection. Let's hope and assume that Flick and the club will do the right thing in managing his minutes even after he returns to full fitness. Let's also acknowledge that Barca are not the same team with Yamal on the field. So how can they best adapt their tactics to keep the results coming in his absence? Against Real Sociedad, they went with a midfielder in Fermin Lopez playing the role of false right winger. There was some logic to this, especially considering how good Jules Count has been this season at getting forward on the overlap and providing service. The problem is that neither Fermin, Gavi, Pablo Torre, nor any other midfielder you may be tempted to use in the position will be able to provide the tactical continuity that has produced the success on the field this season. They are needed where they naturally belong, in the middle, where they can be most useful to the team. Furman is a budding star in his own right. Flick will be eager to reproduce the magic he created at the Paris Olympics as the Spanish national team's 10. Tony Fernandez, just 16 years old, has been mentioned as a backup, and knowing Flick, he will get his opportunities. But in my opinion, the simple and most obvious options are the best. Donny Olmo is a forward first and foremost and should be the next on the depth chart to play alongside Rafinha and Robert Lewandowski. There are plenty of other options who can play behind the striker for the time being. After that, I'd love to see more of Poe Victor. He did everything over the summer to earn playing time, but so far this season he's been given the short end of the stick. He demonstrated an ability to play as both the number 9 and out on the wing with Lewandowski on the field. 